Rachel shared a home with her family until she moved into a group home in her mid-20s, but she struggled living there. It did not meet her needs and passions for being active and involved. It was okay. I mean, we were supposed to go out during the weekend. We never did. You know, we sat in the house all day and did nothing. Not a thing. We had hired someone to help us, so she suggested Quest. And um, Albert and I went there first before we even told Rachel about it. And we, I, we both liked what we saw. Oh, it was just a, such a flurry of activity oh. going on. It was like, oh, Rachel would love this. We got there before they came home, and it was so quiet. And they got off the bus and was bam, bam, everybody's talking and everything. And it's like, oh my goodness. And we were just like, this is wonderful. And they invited Rachel over to spend... Um, Spent most of the day there. Yeah, most of the day there and had dinner with them. And we picked her up after dinner. And she told us, this is what I want to do, Mom. I, I want to move in. And so we said, well, as soon as they have an opening... And I think they did have an opening yeah, very opened, soon after. They had, they had and um, she we moved her over there. Although the COVID pandemic has impacted life at Quest, the level of activity and involvement has given Rachel a much brighter outlook on her life. I can interact with more people. I enjoy being around the staff. The staff has helped me so much with, you know, teaching me things and learning how to like talk to them if I start feeling upset or angry or, you know, it's been helpful. Basically, when Rachel is not doing anything, she gets bored. And then she starts thinking about things, you know, that upset her usually. Uh, when she was living in the previous house and she didn't have anything to do, you know, then she started acting out, uh, started having problems that she really didn't have but thought she did. And it was because she was bored and because her mind would start thinking about things like that. At Class, yes, there's a lot of things to do here. Um, you know, I, I help her on the house, I answer the phones, I uh, get their lunch boxes and get their lunch uh, containers out. And then I also, you know, help her out, do whatever I need to do. And I help out, I help out my roommate. Well, um, I enjoy um, my roommate because, um, you know, she, she, um, asked for me for help, and I, I, I asked her for help sometimes, too, so. I mean, we get along. We get, her and I get along with each other, and I enjoy her. She, she helps me constantly, and, and I really appreciate her being there for me, because, you know, your par my parents are not there for me, you know, not at Quest, but, you know, they're, they're there to, you know, help me, too, but, I need, a, I need a friend instead of my parents. On weekdays, Rachel arrives at Quest Training Center Apopka with her housemates. There, a variety of activities provide relaxation, meaningful social interaction, and skills development. New choices are added regularly to bring out the talents and abilities of individuals served, as well as offer a quality experience. My favorite thing at Quest is to dance and sing and, you know, and Enjoy, enjoy being around the staff and clients. I do sing in the shower. I do. I want it that way. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. I do like, you know, some of my fingers, I'm doing this thing. Sing here at class, they, uh, are teaching me how to, you know, be more independent and, you know, understanding things. Because sometimes it's hard for me to understand things. My parents were right, and I'm, I'm very happy here. I'm very happy here. Well, I think being at Quest has been very helpful and made us calmer knowing that she's in a good place. And it's just been the best thing that's ever happened to Rachel. She loves it, just absolutely, we love it. You know, they just, they're so responsive to us and to her. It's just amazing what we, what she came from to what she's in now. They just, they really care 
about the clients. And we know that there are good people there. And I, otherwise, I think Rachel would give, be giving us a telephone call and letting us know, and she hasn't. There's no secrets at Quest. No, no with secrets. Rachel or Al. <laughs> I mean, she had been at home with, with us for a long time, but then it just got to the point where, you know, we're getting older and we thought she needed to be with other people. You know, we didn't want to have her live with us and then we pass and then what happens well, to we Rachel? were looking at the future. We're very satisfied with what Quest is doing. And we think that Quest is perfect for her in the future too. I, we think that they have her best interests, you know, at heart and will do what's necessary you know, to make Rachel's life enjoyable.